what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here soon talking about prey in this video and prey is the fifth installment in the predator franchise and it is being directed by the same individual who brought us 10 cloverfield lane which i love that movie that's it's being brought to us by dan trachtenberg and it is based around a Kamachi nation oh uh, i just saw the teaser yeah it's set in it's set in the world of the Kamachi nation in in 1719 a skilled female warrior naru fiercely protects her tribe against a highly evolved alien predator now i have not been following this movie in the sense that i have been seeing the updates on it but i haven't been you know diving in digesting every little nook and cranny about it the predator movie the original one is one of the best movies i've ever seen however as a child after seeing that one and then watching all of the sequels i just was like i'm not watching these sequels again i've seen those sequels probably twice each um and the thing about it is i still haven't even watched the the most recent one because of the fact that i didn't have any interest in watching it then i've been someone who is the way a lot of people are with certain franchises i guess i'm i'm that way with predator i only care about the original one it's just so exceptional compared to the rest of these sequels that are out there and alien versus predator even though when i was a younger child i remember those movies being a lot more fun than they are now <laughs> when i watched it recently a couple years ago but i just have not been someone who has always been like a diehard predator fan in terms of the overall franchise as much as i am a fan of that original movie and what was accomplished there and what i saw in the teaser for prey has me feeling those vibes of what i experienced in that original movie it's a lot more uh technical not as technologically advanced as i feel this series went into the direction it took it is going back to that disadvantage between man and this technologically advanced superior uh extraterrestrial entity this time of course it's not a a man that's going to be in the final role it looks like we're positioning to have a final girl so i already see people saying oh this is woke this is this this is that final girls are not new final girls have been here they are more than welcome to continue to be here and final girls ultimately in my opinion from what i've always witnessed considering how common they are they've been better than most final boys that's just the that's just the nature of horror at this point so not that predator is an overall horror based franchise but what was accomplished in that original movie and how it was able to make the jungle feel so terrifying and i guess in times claustrophobic and i guess playing on the idea of humans and the idea of what it feels like to be hunted and it looks like with prey you're going back into that we have some cool tracking shots one in particular i would say because it's a very short teaser where she's running through the jungle and one overhead shot that i thought was cool so i like that drone shot i like the way cinematography looks it looks like there is an option to do a lot of natural lighting too from what i saw in this teaser so the performances didn't really get to gauge too much of that but it looks like uh we are going to be getting some solid performances this time around i like how there is a lot of interest in maybe building up tension the way it introduces you to your surroundings that you'll probably be centered in then it thrusts you into the intensity of it all with this girl running and it looks like she stumbles into her brother who is aiming a bow and arrow and then we see the signatures of the predator start to appear and we see when we hear these little clicking sounds you know we're getting all these cues of its presence but it's not outright outright revealed it is shown but it's shown in a manner in which it's already of course still playing with your intrigue it's it's cloaked it's using that camouflage that we know it can do i like that it isn't it's building up your your um interest in terms of what you what you're thinking like i guess what is it like theater of the mind i guess shout out to you again dave mccray for for giving me that term and the way they are hyping that up and getting you invested in what you're seeing on screen without fully giving it to you in this short teaser it's a very effective teaser um and again i'm not someone who really loves the predator franchise as much as i do enjoy and will go out of my way to always watch that original movie because i think that 1v1 between arnold schwarzenegger's character of dutch and the predator still one of the best 1v1s i've seen on screen to this day uh very very just cool to see especially as a little boy i would add uh 
very action-packed of course the disadvantage overall is of course what i would say got me invested in it and it still keeps me invested in it to this day but i think with the sequels you teetered into this narrative where the technologically advantages of the predators started to become like afterthoughts due to all the other things that were at the humans humans disposal that i felt you were lessening the terror aspect of this creature and maybe just taken away from some of the magic again that i feel hasn't been captured since that original movie the trailer teaser short teaser i'd say for prey very effective i'm excited for it I don't know if you guys are fans of Predator, but this looks like it might be something that is going to have me coming on here and saying that, yes, this is probably the first worthy sequel. I know this won't sit well with a lot of you, but probably the first worthy sequel to me since the original Predator with Arnold Schwarzenegger. That first movie is just a classic. The stuff they were able to accomplish there and again, the way the jungle was made to be this terrifying surrounding why also building up this intrigue by not showing us this creature until halfway into the movie again brilliantly done and it was a, a well a well-deserved payoff we got or, or a rewarding payoff we got when we saw one of the best creature designs on screen uh still one of the most iconic designs of anything that's been shown on screen in terms of a character design and creature design and i hope we see more of that in prey i know we're of course not going to be surprised by knowing it's a predator but it's just like okay play with us on the idea of what your take on predator looks like because of course we know it's going to be updated and hopefully it's not too much cgi in the mix hopefully it has of course glimpses of what you saw in these original movies and it's not too reliant on CGI. I know it's set in 1719, but but obviously, of course, the look is going to be slightly altered. And hopefully we get to play with that, again, mind, theater of the mind aspect where you don't show us the Predator until halfway through. Maybe it's even camouflage for most of the movie. I think that would be very, the most effective thing to do. So that way, when you do unveil it and it's a cool design, it's a nice, exciting payoff. Very nostalgic for people who grew up with the original like me. But I like this teaser. Can't wait to see the movie. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video